Would you like some more coffee? No, thanks. I'm full. We need to find our waitress and get our bill. Good luck finding the waitress. The service this evening has been kind of sucked. Is that our server over there? I'll go get the check since our server doesn't seem to be headed this way. Good. I'll just stay here until you get back. So the total is $36 for our dinner. How much of tip do you think our waitress deserves? I wonder if no tip would be appropriate in light of the service. I kind of feel the same way, but they have just been really short of staff tonight. I think we should leave 10%. $3.60 will be the right amount for the tip. Did you like the restaurant? It was pretty good. The food was wonderful. What was your favorite dish? The fish was my favorite. Yes, the fish was great, but the dessert was awesome. I agree that the macadamia cake was awesome. Didn't you think that the service was the best? Yes, our waiter really went out of the way for us. I would like to return to this restaurant soon. Did you enjoy the restaurant? I didn't like it at all. All that much. What do you think the problem was? Well, they are pretty new. I just didn't feel that they were ready to open yet. How did you feel about the food? The food wasn't all that exciting. I don't think that the service was good either. Yes, the service certainly didn't add to this experience. Would you like to return to the restaurant? Maybe. We could try it again in a few months when things have settled down. Hi, what can I get for you? Hello! May I have a double cheeseburger? With everything on it? That sounds great. Did you want fries with your order? May I get a large order of curly fries? Did you want something to drink? Get me a medium Pepsi. Would you like anything else? No, thank you. That's it. No problem. That'll be $5.48. Thanks a lot. Keep the change. Debbie, do you have any preference for where you would like to go for dinner for your birthday? I don't really know where I want to go. Hmm. I'm having trouble thinking of a particular restaurant. There is a great restaurant directory here in the weekend section of the newspaper. Okay. We could look at that. Do you have any particular type of food that you would like? I really like Japanese or Thai food. That Japanese restaurant, Shogun, got good reviews. Oh, yeah. I saw a review of that restaurant on television. The reviewer loved it. Would that be a place that you might like to go for your birthday? That would work out great. Why don't we call and get a reservation? Hello, this is Shogun Restaurant. Hello, I need to make a dinner reservation. Can you tell me what night you will be coming? We'll be coming to your restaurant on Tuesday night. What time will you be dining with us? Our first choice would be 7 o'clock or perhaps 7.30. How many guests will be in your party? Four of us will be coming. Please just give me your name and at 7 on Tuesday we will have a table for you. Great. Our last name is Foster. Thank you, Mr. Foster. See you this Tuesday at 7. I look forward to having dinner at your restaurant. Thank you for your help. Welcome to our restaurant, Shea Attitude. Our reservation is under the name of Foster at 7 o'clock for four people. Yes, Mr. Foster, our hostess will be with you in just a moment. We would like to begin with a cocktail while we are waiting. Would you tell the hostess to please come and let us know when our table is ready? I will let her know where you are. The patio tables look really nice. Could we be seated there, please? I could seat you right away at an outside table if you would like. Thanks. We'll sit out there then. We will just order our drinks out there. Well, would you like to start off with your cocktails while you're looking over the menu? Yes. Why don't you bring us a bottle of the house Chevy with four glasses to start with? I'll get on that right away. We appreciate your help. Hi, may I get you anything to drink? Yes, please. May I get a glass of lemonade? Would you like an appetizer? May I get an order of barbecue wings? Sure. Would you like anything else? That'll be fine for now. Thank you. Okay. Tell me when you want to order the rest of your food. Excuse me. I'm ready to order. What would you like? Let me have the baby back ribs. Sure. Will there be anything else that I can get you? That'll be all for now. My name is Mary, and I will be your waitress tonight. Thank you, Mary. We've been looking forward to trying out this restaurant. Before your main course, would you like to order an appetizer? Sure, that sounds great. 
Where are your appetizers listed? There is a special appetizer menu right here in the center of the table. The chicken and cheese quesadilla looks good. Is that pretty good? You know, that is one of my favorites. Okay, I'll take an order of that. You could choose another appetizer for half price to share. Perfect. Please add on an order of onion rings. What kinds of things do you like to do? I've always liked to draw and paint. I didn't know you knew how to draw and paint. I do it every once in a while. How long have you known how to do that? I first learned how to do it in high school. Did you take some sort of art class or something? That was my favorite class. You have got to be talented. Thanks. If only I was talented. You have talent. You just don't know what it is yet. Good morning. Is this the renter's hotline? Yes. What can I help you with? I have a question about discrimination in housing. What type of discrimination? Uh, I think that he doesn't want to rent to me because of my race. What made you think that your race was a problem? He seemed okay talking to me on the phone, but seemed to change his mind when he saw me in person. What else made you feel he was discriminating against you? Well, he had a 25-unit apartment building, and everyone I saw there was his same race. Racial discrimination is very hard to prove, but if you would like to come down, we can go over a checklist that can help you build a case. This apartment is wonderful. I'm glad that you like it. How much would I have to pay for rent? The rent is ten fifty each month. That's way too much money. It isn't too much. How about if I pay eight hundred and fifty dollars? I can't take that. I can't go any higher than eight hundred and fifty dollars. I honestly don't know what else to tell you. You can't go any lower than that. If you can't afford ten fifty, then we have no deal. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Did you need our help with the move? Yes, I do need your help with the move. What can we move for you? I need all my furniture moved. Will we be picking the furniture up from an apartment or a house? You'll be taking it from my old apartment. Are we moving the furniture to a house or an apartment? To my new house. We can do the move for you, but first I'm going to need to see some more information. Thanks a lot. I'll give you all the information you need. I appreciate all your help with this move. It's the least I could do. Tell me where to put your furniture. That sofa should go in the living room. Was there a certain place you wanted the sofa? I think it would look best up against that wall. What should I do with this table? I want that table in the dining room. Should I just put it down anywhere? I want it in the center of the room. What do you think? How does it look in here so far? I love the way things are looking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Where are the dumpsters located in this building? Right now, they are in front of the building for pickup. When do the dumpsters get emptied?、Mm, they usually get emptied Wednesday, unless there is a holiday in there somewhere. Are there separate containers for recyclables? We don't mix our recyclables with regular trash. What does the container for recyclables look like? All the recyclables go into the blue bin. How about composting materials? We have a great composting program that uses the bin with the green lid. Those noisy neighbors of mine are driving me crazy. Yes, they are very noisy. What do you think they're doing in there?、Mm, someone said they are installing some countertops in their kitchen. Is there usually a lot of noise coming from over there? Whenever they play music. I can hear it coming through the walls. Do your neighbors know that you can hear them? I mentioned it to them once. Are you ever disturbed by other sounds? They have a lot of noisy parties that get out of hand. I think that you should talk with the manager to see if he can help you. What do you think of the apartment? I I like it, but there is one problem. What problem is that? The faucet in the kitchen is leaking. I don't understand what the big deal is. Well, that the leak is a problem for my water bill. What would you like me to do about it? The leak must be fixed. I won't be able to fix it at the moment. I will not rent the apartment with that leaking faucet. If that's the case, then I will fix the faucet. Thanks for understanding. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing outside so late at night?
Oh, hi, Janice. I couldn't sleep. What are you doing here? I come out here once in a while to look at the stars. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are. I never really paid attention to them. You're lucky tonight. The sky is clear, so the stars are very bright. We have a telescope, but we never use it. I may need to bring it outside one day. That's awesome. I wish we had one. You can borrow ours. That would be great. I've always been interested in astronomy. What's that? Astronomy is the study of stars, planets, and other objects in outer space. That would be really interesting to study. Yeah. I took a college class in astronomy once. It was fascinating. Look at the moon. It's a full moon. Yeah. Didn't you see it earlier tonight? No. I didn't notice it earlier. What a beautiful sight. It's supposed to be clear tomorrow night, too. Do you want to meet out here again? Sure. How about 11 p.m.? I'll be here. I'll bring my telescope. I can't believe I have to finish Tom's work again. Why do you keep doing it for him? If I don't do it, it'll never get done. He's such a slacker. He doesn't do anything at all. I don't know why the boss doesn't fire him. I know why. He's the boss's son. What a loser. Don't let our boss hear you say that. I don't care anymore. Just don't finish his work and see what the boss does. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? I was walking, so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. The best way are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights, and stay in the appropriate vehicle pedestrian lanes. Hey, Ted. Why do you look so nervous? I'm going to ask the boss for a raise. You should. You deserve a raise. You work very hard. I do work hard. I'm here early every day, and I leave late every night. Yeah, you do. You also help other people when they need help. You've helped me many times. Also, I've been here for ten years. My last raise was three years ago. Three years? Then I think it's definitely time for a raise. Do you think she will say yes? I think she will. She's nice. She listens well and is also very fair. I wrote a short report about why I deserve a raise. Only you would do that. You are so detail-oriented. I like to be prepared about everything. That's another reason why you should get a raise. Okay. I'm ready to talk to her. You can't talk to her today. Why not? She's on a business trip. What kind of work do you do? I'm an architect. That's interesting. I'm in construction. I studied construction management in college. We're looking for an architect for our firm. I've been interested in working on the construction side. Can I have your business card? Here is mine. Can I send you my resume? Yes, that would be great. My email address is on the card. Thank you. I look forward to meeting with you again. Are you ready to order? I think that we have a pretty good idea of what we would like to order. Let me tell you about the specials of the day, which are chicken in a wine sauce with capers and grilled garlic shrimp. I was wondering if the chef would leave off the sauce. The chef would be happy to accommodate your special requests. I am a vegetarian. Do you have any vegetarian selections? You could choose the roasted vegetable and garlic pizza or the goat cheese and candied walnut salad. I think that we'll split the roasted vegetables and garlic pizza. 
That is a good selection, and I can bring your salads now or serve them with your entree. You can bring our salads when you bring our entree. While you are thinking about what you might like to order for dinner, would you like to order your drinks? Can you tell me where your wine list is? The wine list is posted right there on the board. Can we order a mixed drink in this restaurant? Yes, we have a wide selection of mixed drinks available from our bar. Do you have any house specials that you could recommend? Our most popular drinks are... Are our Cuervo Gold Margaritas? That sounds like a good choice for me. May I have one, please? Can I bring that to you on the rocks, or would you like it blended? Please bring it to me on the rocks. Salt or no salt? I would like it with no salt, please. So, how was your meal? Our meal was wonderful. Would you like to finish your evening with us with some dessert? I am full, but maybe we could split a few desserts. Tonight's dessert specials include chocolate mousse cake and a spicy rum apple crisp. I would love the apple crisp. That is a good choice, but would you like to split a second dessert for the four of you? Add in a chocolate mousse cake and we're good. We will also need four dessert forks, please. Can I bring you some coffee or tea with your dessert? We would like two coffees and two teas. I will put your dessert order in and be right back with your drinks. Thanks. And may we have our check when you come back? We have theater tickets and need to leave soon. I believe you ordered the Grand Slam breakfast. Oh, good. You know, I'm looking at my plate and I ordered scrambled eggs, not fried. Oh, I just noticed that I accidentally brought you your friend's breakfast. I can just trade with him. Thank you. And pancakes for you, sir? I am sorry, but I think I ordered waffles. I am sorry that I misheard you. Just please take my pancakes to trade for waffles. While I'm waiting, I will eat my bacon and eggs. I will get straight back to you with your waffles. I would appreciate that. This is a great meal. Thank you. I am glad that everything turned out so well. Who taught you how to cook this well? I took a cooking class at the Culinary Institute. Wow. What is this chicken dish? Isn't that great? That is coconut ginger chicken with rice. Is the soup a shrimp soup? Yes, there's shrimp in there, along with sea vegetables and lemongrass. I think I got lucky in choosing a wine that blends with this meal. I appreciate you bringing the wine. It goes well with the chicken. Hey George, is your chicken okay? It tastes great, but it is really dry. Is your fish all right? My fish is very dry. I wonder if they left it sitting around too long before they served it. That's exactly what I was thinking had happened. Are your vegetables okay? The vegetables are kind of mushy. So are mine. I think they left them cooking too long. The food here is usually good, so I think that we should tell the waiter that there is a problem. I think that you're right. Maybe they can give us free dessert or something. Would you like some more coffee? No thanks. I'm full. We need to find our waitress and get our bill. The waitress is bringing the bill right now. The waitress has really been on top of things, hasn't she? Yes, this waitress did a great job. Okay, let's see what the damage is. The total for our meal is thirty-six dollars. What do you think would be the right amount to leave for a tip? Fifteen percent is a normal tip, but she really did a great job. What do you think about twenty percent this time? Yes, twenty percent would be perfect. Her tip will end up being seven dollars and twenty cents, plus the bill of thirty-six. The total will be forty-three dollars and twenty cents. Yes, that was one fantastic meal. I agree. Maybe we can come back again next week. Are you a big fan of fashion? Yes, I am. I believe every girl is crazy about fashion. What style do you choose to wear? Well, my favorite piece of clothes is a dress. Depending on the situation, I choose a formal or informal dress to wear. Do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Yes, I'm a shopaholic actually. Is there any fashion icon who you want to wear the same? Yes, I admire Taylor Swift and wish to wear like her. Do you create your own fashion style? No, I'm not a fashionista, so most of the time I just follow the fashion trend. Do you prefer vintage or modern style? Why? 
Honestly, I love vintage style. Wearing classic clothes makes me feel like I'm special. Have you ever attended a fashion show? Not in real life. I just watch them on TV. What do people think about your fashion style? I don't know exactly, and I don't care much about it. I just wear what makes me comfortable and confident. Are you going to change your fashion style in the future? Well, I can't tell. Maybe fashion is changeable, and I am too. Is fashion important to people? Yes, in my opinion. Fashion can partly reveal who you are. Hey, how are you feeling today? I'm fine, thanks. I brought you some flowers. Thank you. Did you talk to your doctor? What did she say? She said it was not very serious. I can leave hospital next week. That's good. Is there anything I can do? I want to go to the toilet. Let me go with you. No, thanks. I can take care of myself. Okay. Be careful. Guess what I heard about Chris? Are you gossiping again? No, I'm just sharing news. No, you're gossiping. Do you have a problem with it? Yes, I think it's rude to talk about other people. What's the big deal? Gossip can hurt people. I guess I never thought about that. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Is plastic surgery popular in your country? Not really. People in my country are not so interested in plastic surgery. What do you think about people having plastic surgery? It's hard to say. As long as they find happiness in what they're doing, it's fine with me. Why do you think people do it? They want to gain a better look, I believe. That's understandable. Is plastic surgery bad? It's bad for health in the long run. Does it do harm to your health? Sure, there are several unhealthy substances in the medical treatments which may be harmful to your body. Do you think changing your look is a good thing? Yes, I can't deny that changing for a better appearance is what people should do. But don't abuse plastic surgery, or you will face serious health problems later on. Do you think the development of plastic surgery is a positive or negative trend? It's more a positive trend, I guess. Thanks to plastic surgery, people who think they don't look good can now make themselves more attractive. Do you care more about your outlook or inner soul? As for me, the inner soul does matter more, although outside appearance is important too. What is a part of your face that you wish to change? Although I have some imperfect parts, I have no wish to change anything. Do you like shopping? Yes, I'm a shopaholic. What do you usually shop for? I usually shop for clothes. I'm a big fashion fan. Where do you go shopping? At some fashion boutiques in my neighborhood. Are there many shops in your neighborhood? Yes, my area is the city center, so I have many choices of where to shop. Do you spend much money on shopping? Yes, and I'm usually broke at the end of the month. Do you usually shop online? What items? Yes, but not really often. I only buy furniture online. What's the difference between shopping online and offline? Unlike shopping offline, you cannot try on the pieces of clothes or check the material when shopping online. So, what do you think? Well, it's nothing to write home about. You must be kidding. Why do you say that? I think it's the best movie I've seen in years. With all that violence? It wasn't so violent. It certainly was. There was blood in practically every scene. And sometimes the violence had no bearing on the story. It was just put in for audiences who like to see blood. I don't know how they can get away with showing so much detail. Well, from my standpoint, there was a real anti-violence message in the movie. They showed how all that violence ended in tragedy. But that's no excuse for being so graphic. Why did they have so many scenes with all that suffering? Because it was an important part of the story. Sorry, but that argument just doesn't hold water. 
you could cut some of those scenes out and still have your story. And as far as sending an anti-violence message, they can do that without making the audience sick. Now you're really blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Am I? Look at the crime statistics. Listen, you know this subject is a bone of contention between us. We've had heated arguments about this kind of thing before. Yes, too many. I sure hope that someday I'll get through to you. All I know is I got my money's worth tonight. Well, I'll agree that the story was engrossing, but all that blood and violence drives me up the wall. Look, now we're back where we started. Let's just agree to disagree and go get a cup of coffee. Hello? Hi, Kate. This is Anne. Have you completed the class project? Yeah, I finished it last night. How about you? No, not yet. I'm having a hard time with the conclusion of my report. Do you need any help? Maybe just a little. Do you have time tonight? No, I'm sorry. It's my aunt and uncle's anniversary, and I promised to babysit my niece. Oh, I understand. I'm free tomorrow night. Tomorrow is good for me, too. Can I come over, or would you like to come here? It might be quieter at your house. My brother is going to have a friend over, and they can be very noisy. Okay, then let's meet at my house. Sounds good. What time should I come over? How about 5 p.m.? I can make you dinner. Really? I'd love to come for dinner. What's your favorite dish? Spaghetti and meatballs. But please, make anything you like. Spaghetti and meatballs are my specialty. I'll make that. Sounds great. I will be there tomorrow at 5 p.m. See you tomorrow night. Are you a tech and gadget lover? Yes, I am. I love shopping for new gadgets. What is an important technological advancement you know? That's the emergence of online payment systems like credit cards or PayPal, thanks to the development of the Internet, I think. What do you use it for? I use these services to do shopping online. Now I can book flight tickets in advance without the need to go to the agency. How long have you been using it? I've been using these services for around three years. Does it make your life easier? Sure, it's fast, simple, and convenient. How did it change your life? Well, I can enjoy my life more. I can do a plenty of things online, like shopping, transferring money, booking tickets, and so on. How often do you use it? At least once a week. What are other technological advancements you know? There are many. Electricity, smartphone, the internet, robot, and so on. Hi, Steve. Why aren't you packing? Aren't you going home for Thanksgiving? Hey, John. No, the airplane ticket is too expensive. Oh, that's too bad. What are you going to do for Thanksgiving, then? I'm just going to spend it here in the dormitory. But the college campus will be closed, and most of our friends will be going home for the weekend. I know. I'll just use the time to study. That's not fun. Would you like to come over to my house this weekend? No, that's okay. I don't want to be a burden. Don't be silly. You won't be a burden. My mom always makes too much food. All of our relatives come over. We have a great time. Are you sure? I would really like that. Of course I'm sure. We have plenty of room, too. Thanks. You're a great friend. You're welcome. Now, you better start packing. I'm leaving soon. What time are we leaving? Three o'clock. It's a three-hour drive from here. Okay. Let me pay for gas. We can each pay half. Sounds great. Thanks again. I'll be ready soon. Hello. Can I help you? I'd like to order your daily special. Okay. Would you like it spicy or non-spicy? I guess non-spicy. I've never been asked that before. Would you like white rice or fried rice? Rice? Is this Max's Pizza Place? No, this is a Chinese restaurant. I thought I was ordering pizza.
No, our daily special is Mongolian beef with rice. That sounds good. I'll take one order to go with white rice. I'm going on a business trip with my boss. How do you feel about that? Uncomfortable. I've never traveled with my boss before. Did you get separate hotel rooms? Yes, they are next to each other. Then what is the problem? We have to sit on the plane together and eat meals together. Your boss is really nice. You shouldn't worry. I know. I'm just afraid I'm going to make a bad impression. You're worrying too much. Just be yourself. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. Welcome to A Night at the Movies. I'm Pauline Kaplan. And I'm Colin Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really like this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Pauline, what did you think of the story? It was a standard story for a Bond movie. Uh, the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. Really? What did you think about the music? I wasn't impressed at all by the music. I love the James Bond theme, but what they did with it was awful. Too modern for me. I can't believe you. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Now that brings up another weakness in the film, the special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. I'd hardly believe you and I saw the same movie, Pauline. I have to say that the special effects were the best ever in a Bond film. For example, the scene where... Excuse me, Colin. We're going to have to break for a commercial. You're right, Pauline. We'll be right back with our ratings. Hello, Anne. Hi, Sue. Can you explain something to me? Sure. What is it? What is Halloween? Oh, it's a holiday that we celebrate once a year. Is it the same date every year? Yes. It's on October 31. What do people do on that day? People dress up in costumes and go to other people's homes to collect candy. Even strangers' homes? Yes. They knock on the doors and say, trick or treat. Then the homeowner gives out candy. Do adults do it too? Not many adults. It's usually just children. Isn't that unsafe? It can be, but parents go with them. I see. My son wants to do it this year. I didn't know what it was. You don't do this in your native country? No, 
I guess it's a new tradition we have to learn. It's a lot of fun. Your son will enjoy it. How would you like your hair today? The same style as usual? I have a special party to attend tonight, and I'd like to change my style. What about a perm? It sounds nice. Here are some samples of hairstyles. What do you think about this one? No, I don't like short hair. I like this one. The wave looks beautiful, and it fits my age, too. Very well. You are not in a hurry, are you? No, you can take your time. Oh, I also want a manicure while I'm having the perm. Okay. The manicurist will be right here. Thank you. How much will these two cost? It's $90 in all. May I help you? I would like to return this book. May I do anything else for you? I would also like to check out this magazine. I can't let you do that. Why is that? Our policy doesn't allow anyone to check out the magazines. What things am I allowed to check out? You are only allowed to check out books or videos. I really need to check out this magazine. I'm sorry, but that's our policy. That's stupid. Were you going to take some classes next semester? Of course. Which ones? I need to take another English and math class. That's it? I think I may also sign up for a psych class. Is the psychology class for your major? That class will count toward my GE and my major. You're just trying to finish your GE. I need to finish these classes for now. I don't understand why you're only working on your GE classes. Because I can't transfer until I finish those classes. Is this the registration desk? Yes, this is the place. I need to get some classes. What classes would you like? I need to finish my GE classes so that I can transfer. Have you finished any of your GE classes yet? This is going to be my first semester. Have you taken the placement test yet? I believe I already took the placement test last month. What math and English classes did you get placed in? I was placed in English 1A and Math 131. I'll make sure you have those classes this semester. Have you figured out where you want to transfer to? I can't think of where to go. Where would you like to go to school? <laughs> I really don't know. You can't think of anything? I really like where I'm at now. So why don't you just stay there? That may be what I'm going to do. It's a perfectly good school. You're absolutely right. Do you know what you're going to do now? I'm just going to stay at PCC. I can't figure out what to get Mary for her birthday. I'm having a problem figuring that out myself. Do you want to pick something out together? Yes. That way we would have more money to spend. She has a lot of interest. What things do you think she likes to do the best? Well, she really likes going hiking, listening to music, and travel. The music idea sounds good. I wonder who knows what concerts she might like to go to. Maybe we could ask her roommate, Malia, who her favorite groups are. Malia would be great help. She knows Mary a long time. Let's email Malia and ask her for her suggestions. I think that maybe Malia might like to contribute to this gift, too. Professor, do you have a few moments when I could meet with you? I scheduled my appointments from 2 to 4 on Saturday. What works best for you? 3 would be a good time. Great. Do you need directions to my office? I'm not sure. Well, just make sure to go through the double doors, and I'll be on the right. Okay, I'll find it. It's very easy to find. See you then. I will enjoy seeing you. Have a good week. Hi, are you Mia? I am Mia. You must be Ruben. Yes, that's me. It's so good to finally meet you. Karen has told me so much about you. I hope that she had good things to say about me. <laughs> she had only good things to say. Did you have trouble finding me? Well, how many beautiful women in a red dress by the fountain are there? <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. So would you like to get a bite to eat, Mia? That sounds perfect. Lead the way. I'm John Smith. How can I help you? 
Hi, John. This is Terry Evans. I've got some good news for you. I hope you're from the lottery. Go ahead. The apartment owner was impressed with your interview. He has approved your rental application. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Of course, there are some fees to pay before you move in. Fees? I don't remember anything about fees. You know the usual: first and last month's rent and the security deposit. But of course, you cannot move in unless you pay such fees. So you could write me a check for three thousand five hundred dollars. That's two thousand five hundred and one thousand deposit. No sooner said than done. Where shall I mail it? Just mail it to thirty thirty-five East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California nine one one zero seven. So when will I be able to move in? Move in on the first. Come on by my office and pick up your keys. Sounds great. Tell me your phone number. Certainly, my office number is sixty six five 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 three zero zero zero. Hi, this is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Richard here. I think you've got a good idea why I'm calling. Yes, it's about the rent, isn't it? Yes, your rent is late. This is the second month in a row. But I thought I had a grace period. I told you last month that the rental agreement contains no grace period. Oh, I guess I was thinking about the last place that I lived. Well, tell me when I'm going to get your rent. I get paid tomorrow, so you'll get the check by Monday. Don't forget to include the fifty-dollar late fee. Are you sure a late fee is in the rental agreement? How could you miss the late fee? It's circled in red ink. I can't find my copy of the rental agreement. I know it's somewhere in my apartment. If you're late one more time, I'm probably going to evict you. How's it going, Jim? This is Olivia. Hello, Olivia. What's up? I wanted to let you know that I have to move out. I'm sorry to hear that. When are you moving? The thirtieth of June. May I ask why you're leaving? I found a new job. Good for you. What's your new job? I am an ESL teacher at Pasadena City College. Very good. What does ESL mean? ESL means English as a second language. Well, I'm glad you're not moving out because of the neighbors. I can't tell you how happy I'll be not to have to listen to their TV. Yes, I'm going to tell them one more time to turn down their TV and keep it down. You've been a good apartment manager and a good person. I'll see you in June. Thank you. I hope your new job and new apartment are good for you. I would like to order some internet today. What kind would you like? What kind of internet is there? You can get DSL or dial-up. Which of those two is best? I would recommend DSL. So that one's better. It's better because it doesn't tie up the phone. What do you mean by that? DSL isn't connected through your phone line, but dial-up is. So then I can't use my phone if I'm on the internet. That's correct. With DSL, you can do both.